Today I'm here to teach you how to make this amazing effect inside the edit page of DaVinci Resolve using freeze frames. So this effect will elevate your work to another level. So let's jump in the computer and see how you can do it. So here we are inside of the edit page of DaVinci Resolve. And as you can see, I already have this clip here in the timeline of a guy jumping this rail in a skate park. So let's start our effect. First thing you have to do is duplicate here the clip. So press Alt or Option on Mac and drag it over. Now we have two clips. Now let's select the first freeze frame. I'm going to put it over here. So in the top clip, cut this. This is not needed. I'm going to give it three frames and cut it again. Now let's find the second freeze frame, for example, right here. Do the same, one, two, three. No, this is not needed. And now the third here when it lands over here, cut, one, two, three, cut. And let's remove this and remove this. Now that we have all the clips selected where the freeze frames are going to be, I'm going to push this, put this over one and this one here also. Now, Let's zoom in a little bit. Now let's add the freeze frames. So, so let's select the clip, come here to where it says change clip speed and enable freeze frame change. Do the same for the others. Now you can increase the size, for example, like this, this one over here and this one somewhere around over here. Now. You have a freeze frame over here, a freeze frame, and you don't see what's happening behind all this. So we have to use the magic mask to isolate our subject. That's the reason why you have to do this in the studio version and you can't do it on the free version. So let's select this clip, go to the color page. And if you want to know more about the magic mask, you can watch a video that I already made over here that I post. I'm going to leave the link over here. So let's come here with the clip selected. First thing I'm going to do is add, add an alpha output and I'm going to connect this to here. So come, come here, select this one and copy. Now we have the same. So here let's come to the magic mask is this icon over here. Let's select here the plus. Let's draw let me zoom in to see better. Let me draw here a line of our subject like this. Come here and change it to better. I want to see if everything is okay. It's okay. So let's track this. Now do the same for the second one. Come here better. Everything seems to be okay. Let me track it. And now third one, let's do the same and better. And as you can see over here, we have, let's come here to the minus and draw a line here and it's done. And you can also do it here and here. Okay. It's very good. Now let's track it. And now you can come out of the color page. Let's go to the edit page and let's play it. One, two, three, disappear, disappear, disappear. Of course you can adjust this to be as long as you want. And now you have it all over here. So now you can add your um, sound effects. You can add one, for example, right here. This one over here and over here. Let's align this. And now if you play it, look. And as you can see, the final result is very good. 
So as you could see, it's very easy to make. And of course you have to have the studio version because of the magic mask. I hope this information was helpful and I hope you learned something today. And don't forget, hit that like button that helps a lot. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and hit that notification bell to be notified next time I'll launch a video. Until then, bye.